Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ellison Cruz, and after many hard months of grueling, difficult, dungeon crawling, monster slaying, temple solving, and a bit of light grocery shopping action, we have finally made it to the final level that holds a piece of the Triforce in The Legend of Zelda. By God, I am not prepared to take this on. Considering last time how much trouble I had with some of the whiz robes, things are not looking great here because, fortunately, they don't make appearance here, so that's fantastic. But they are replaced with a plethora of goddamn mini-bosses. How's it going, Manhandler? I haven't seen you in a while. Also, getting shot by those guys is great, but at least I can take you out in a single shot, so I'm moderately satisfied. This dungeon is pretty unique in the sense that it has two completely optional dungeon items, which is something that, wow, I would like to collect, while not getting bum-rushed by goddamn stupid-ass bubbles. Jesus. Alright, well, not being able to turn is great too, I guess. Yeah. The downside of playing with the keyboard is the fact that you're playing with the keyboard, so if you can avoid that, then go ahead and do it. I mean, unless you want your inputs eaten left and right, then... Go ahead, be my guest. Uh, you are gonna be difficult, aren't you? You're gonna be a bitch. I'm just gonna go and toss a couple of random bombs there to kind of entice you to not be an asshole. <laughs> You're gonna have your butt buddies just completely puppy guard you. This would be a great time for the Wand of Gamelon. But I don't know if I wanna take it out. What are you gonna do, huh? What are you, you, there you go, yeah. <laughs> not gonna outsmart me this time, you jerk. Anyways, we are about to collect the first of the dungeon items, which is something that no child the age of Link should ever have in his possession at this point, and it's Playboy Edition number one, ladies and gentlemen, starring editorials with Marilyn Monroe and Hugh Hefner and uh, Natalie Portman, I guess. <laughs> but upon closer inspection, it's actually the Karma Sutra Pocket Guide Edition. <laughs> no, it's actually an upgrade to the Magical Rod, which will now summon the fire of Hell Satan to aid you in burning and killing all of your foes. So, it basically renders your already obsolete lantern to become even more useless. You have no reason to ever take that out ever again. And it lights up rooms pretty damn good, so that's nice. And speaking of which, we're gonna have to light it up here anyways. How's it going, guys? So, this isn't really a practical item, but now that I think about it, because there are so many bubbles everywhere, I think it's not too bad. So I'll take it. I'll take it with stride, and we'll move forward Ooh, into the lion's den, where... Ugh, this is probably going to be worse than the last part, just due to the sheer number of dark nuts we'll be fighting. And manhandlers, apparently. I think I can skip you, actually. Fuck you. I'm going to get out of here. I have no reason... I have no beef with that man. However, ooh, okay. <laughs> Alright, um, I'm gonna run to the right real- actually, let's just take him out now. Let's just do it. Do it! Oop, and get my inputs eaten. That's great. Gotta love playing with the keyboard! God damn it. I'm gonna keep complaining about that, aren't I? <laughs> God, these fireballs aren't even difficult, they're just distracting. God. It's just- <laughs> They move you all over the place. Alright, you guys are fucked. Alright, you. <laughs> Just gonna go and turn real quick. Don't mind me. Ugh, there we go. Thanks for the key. I'll go over here. <laughs> and if I'm not mistaken, there is a room that houses a boss fight with Goma, as you guys recall. The boss of the last dungeon, which was made laughably easy by just walking in and shooting an arrow at it. This is bad. Also, there's the first instance of me walking into fire. Just want to get rid of the keys. There's some Pole's voice here being some annoying as hell. So I'm gonna take you out. That's what Mama said. Mama said. Mm. Yeah, shoot an arrow at that Pole's voice, son. Do it. So we'll avoid going north. I'd really like a dungeon map at this point so that I'm not accidentally walking into traps. And, oh, fantastic. Gotta love the slowdown here. So we need more rooms with sh mm, statues shooting shit at us. If only you would be so kind as to drop a fairy, as you're not, then that's great. We didn't even have to go in there. That's awesome. <sighs> All right, let's make our way back. I'm kind of curious to see what's in that room to the right that we could have escaped to, but we'll see. Hopefully those dark nuts don't spawn back. I think there's a room where if you kill them all and you don't continue, then they'll respawn. That's the only thing I remember about this place. It's 
been a little too long. Hey, hello! Just gonna shoot a bunch of you in the face. Or as many of you as I can. Thanks for the heart. Hey, here we go. Thanks. Okay, let's collect that. Heart. Thank you. There we go. No extra hearts. Damn it. Alright, well that's good. We got the compass, of all things. I think the f past five dungeons have given us the compass before the map. It's weird. I don't need to know where the Triforce is. I just need to deal with this nonsense. Ooh. Alright, thanks for the bombs. This would be a fantastic place to have the, the wand out. <laughs> the wand of Gam the rod of Gamelon. Uh, not very effective though, against Dark Nuts. They're bitches. So. <laughs> there we go, I knew he was gonna turn there, I knew you were gonna turn there. Alright, you all have one hit left. Just let me put you in your place, please. Thank you. I can't do the back and forth on this at all. It just doesn't register. Okay, we don't want to head left. That is the room I believe where Goma is. But can we head right? I don't think we can. Let's go up here. This is a very unusually shaped layout dungeon. Ooh, this is bad. This is bad. This is the room I think where if you kill them all, then they'll come back if you don't come and do that shit immediately. So I'm gonna go over here, run away, and let's go collect our second item, which will actually be much more useful for us than, well, say, the Karma Sutra. So. Just go ahead and, uh, uh, oh, we don't have to kill you, but it gives us a dungeon map, so we'll take it. And, ooh, now that I think about it, let's go over here. Um, hmm, I'm trying to decide. This is a good room, a room with, ooh, many rupees. I think there's a man somewhere around here, like an old one who will give you some sweet advice, but I don't know where he is, and I'm not ready to go looking for him. If I can avoid as many optional fights as I can here, then I will try to do so. Thank you. Wow, thanks sir. And thanks for the bombs. Oh, you know what? Actually, hold on. Hold the phone, hold the proverbial ocarina. We're gonna go ahead over here. Bust that open. I'm trying to think. That looks like it might be where Goma is, but I want to go from beneath her. In which case, I think I need to waste a key, which will actually not be much of a detraction from our experience here. Uh, they're gonna become pretty obsolete. So let's go ahead and take that out. Because ladies and gentlemen, oh god, it's the return of Goma. And I missed, fantastic. She has a very, very small window of opportunity to attack. I kind of hate it. So just shoot as many as you can, but not too quickly and not be able to avoid her projectiles. Oh god, what's the point of fucking, ugh. Alright, I don't want to go up there. <laughs> I don't want to. I'm going to go over here. <laughs> I'm going to go lick my wounds and... This looks like the correct room. Uh, shit. Shit, just give me... Right here, I'll take that. Okay. We're not looking too bad. I would like to probably avoid using my medicine. If one of you guys would like to be able to drop me a heart. That'd be great. There you go. There's one! You walked away, but the other one walked into it. Just going to get rid of some of those. Man, you guys take a lot of fucking bombs, man. Alright, well, thanks for that. I just don't want to, like, get into a cockfight with that dude. You know, he'd love it all too much. Oop. Hey, how's it going? Whew, we did it. Alright, let's head down here and collect what could arguably be one of the better items that you can collect. And, as one would imagine... It's the skeleton key, which I think is the master key, which I think was changed in this particular variety of ROM hack, I guess, uh, to lion key. Get it? Because we're in the lion's den and it's a, it's a thing? I don't know. But it's replaced with an A and we're going to get our shit fucked, aren't we? Oh boy. Um, I don't think we have any means to prepare, so should we go and take a drink? Take a sip of good old life potion, just to be on the safe side. I think that's probably in our best interest. Let's do that. Man, I love the sound of Link regrowing lost bones and regaining lost blood. It's just amazing. Um, so nothing can really help us against here. All of these dark nuts, and they're super orgy. So it's going to immediately walk into a couple of them. No big deal. All right. Luckily, there's only two fire-breathing statues, by god. Oh, yes! I want that. Oh, god damn it! I wish I can destroy them. They're just obnoxious. Thank you. Okay. 
Damn it. I'm losing my place on the keyboard. That's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> it's like they're too... Mm, they're too precise. But then at times, they just don't register if I'm too quickly. If I'm too quickly. Okay. It's not bad. You walked right into that, you dumb dumb. Ah, come on. <laughs> Give me a heart, damn it! Mm. You didn't. Okay. Please let this be to the boss. That's all I want. I just want to end this place for good. Oh shit. Fuck. Ugh. I'm out of here, dude. Ugh. Fucking mummies, man. Right. Come on. I dare ya. Because I'm not the Dark Nuts. Alright, alright. We're not doing too bad. I think we're well on our way. Sunjin feels a lot shorter than I remember. Then again, I guess compared to... Ooh. To a Death Mountain, anything is. That's kind of an interesting effect. Um... Can I get them to recreate that? That'd be great. Oop, there we go. That's what I wanted to do. Hey, there we go. <laughs> All right, so we don't even need the key, so I'm not even gonna bother. Whew. Okay, let's go over here. Oh wait, we can bomb up there. Shit, can I go back? I can't go back. I'll go up here. <laughs> Avoid this room of dark nuts. Hey, here's the old man. Look for the, lo oh fuck you, dude. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and probably bomb the fuck out of a place. I think I can do it from up there. That might be the smart thing to do. <laughs> Alright, I get it. I'm sorry for shooting you in the face with an arrow. I just already have it, so I was a little upset that you're telling me redundant information. Now, the boss of this level is uh, another reskin. It's of Gleok, but this time he has four heads. Ooh, spooky. That is uh, great. Talk about Medusa ripoff, but we're just gonna go and kill him the way I always do. Just go up here and just... How's it going, guys? Just, I have so much health that I can afford to do it. Yeah, your disembodied heads are really scary. Thanks for the one heart there. Cool. So, that is our last heart container. And, as one would expect, the final piece of the Triforce. God, I am really glad that we were able to take that out without too much trouble. Beautiful. How's it going, guys? I am now the holder of the Triforce of, I think, Wisdom, because isn't it Zelda's? What the... Did I press something? Oh, it was my touchpad being super, well, touchy. And here's the fairy that I wanted. So, with that having been all said and done, there's a couple of last-minute things that I want to do out on the overworld that I don't know if I should do right now. I mean, maybe. I feel like Death Mountain is going to take a really long time, and part of me doesn't want to rehearse that. So far, I haven't rehearsed anything aside from when I started playing the game. After that, it's just been smooth sailing from there. And for the most part, I mean, I don't know, you guys. I kind of want to, wow, collect more fairies. Um, do things kind of just blind in a sense, but at the same time, I could see how that'd be really annoying, so... I don't know. Maybe we should find a place to, uh... Ugh. Well, let's go up here. I don't think this is the one I want to go to. Yeah, this is bad. Or is it? I want to go to the... Yeah, here we go. So I wanted to see. So we need to refill on potions, and also bombs. We're going to need an absurd, a ludicrous amount of bombs. This is not where I wanted to be. But that's okay, because I think there's a bomb shop to the right. Go find another one. <laughs> Take any path you want. It was this one. Okay, thought so. So, I guess we'll go to sleep for the last time inside of our sweet-ass little cave that we have deemed ours since we started so many videos in dungeons. It's kind of a downer situation, don't you think? And we'll make our way to Death Mountain. It's somewhere we could have been early in the game, but it's kind of a shame that they kind of cock-block you with an old man. So, next time, we will awaken here and hopefully I can remember to actually disable my keypad so I don't just randomly click out of shit. My name's Elson Cruz, and I'll see you next time for maybe the finale? If it's like 40 minutes long, it's the finale, so <laughs> I'll see you guys then.